These are the 20 most impossible moments in football history. And number 20 is this incredible free kick routine which the Netherlands pulled off against Argentina at the World Cup. It's one thing that the Dutchmen did this, but it's a different level that they did this at the very last second with everything riding on it. Take a look at the clock, man. 90 plus 10. And they did this insane free kick routine? Wow. The Argentina goalkeeper was so shocked. He never saw that coming. But you know what he saw coming? This last second shot against France. It was the 123rd minute of a very grueling World Cup final, which was tied at 3-3. And then, boom, from nowhere, Colo Muani is presented with an opportunity to win it for France in the last second. And honestly, everybody thought he had. I mean, look at the France bench. They were all already on the pitch, ready to celebrate the World Cup. But Emmy Martinez comes out and makes an impossible save to send the game to penalties and eventually win the game for Argentina. That save right there is one of the greatest greatest saves in football history hands down. And you know what is one of the greatest free kicks of all time? The one Cristiano Ronaldo scored against Arsenal in the Champions League back in the 2008-2009 season. I mean, look at the distance. Who even thinks of powering a shot from over there? But this guy did it and somehow found the back of the net. Is this guy even human? That's literally one of the most powerful shots you will ever see. But you know what? It is surely not as powerful as this one from Hulk. I mean, this happened in training, but it's still so crazy because I actually never thought it was possible for a human being to hit a ball so hard that it explodes. I mean, take a look at this. This guy connects with the ball and it shatters to smithereens. Nah, this is just impossible. There's a reason they call him the Hulk. That was so incredible. And you know what else is incredible? Robert Lewandowski scoring five goals in nine minutes back in 2015. How can one person be this prolific? Even his own manager was shocked. And you know what's crazy? He came off the bench to do this. His team was a goal down by halftime time and then they subbed him on and he was like hold my beer five goals in minutes 51 52 55 57 and 60 and that was it the game was over in just nine minutes crazy bro absolutely crazy but if you think that's crazy come and take a look at this this goal from marcin Alexei had my mouth on the floor bro this guy was on crutches and still went in for a bicycle kick wow i didn't expect that at all and from the look of things none of the guys on the pitch expected expected that either. That goal just looked so impossible until he did it. Take a bow, Marcin. But since we're talking about bicycle kicks, you know we had to talk about this one. Zlatan Ibrahimovic against England. Humans attempt bicycle kicks from inside the box, but gods attempt it from outside the penalty area. But not only do they attempt it, they actually score. Zlatan keeps reminding you guys that he's a god. This particular goal should have turned us all into believers. But I'll tell you what's hard to believe, that it's actually possible to score from the side of the net. It's impossible, right? Well, I too thought it was impossible until it actually happened. Stefan Kiesling scored a goal from the side netting for Bayer Leverkusen. You can legit see the ball hit the side of the net, but somehow he managed to find a hole in the net and the ball squeezed into the back of the net. Everybody was so shocked seeing that, man. How in the world has that happened? Well, this is football and anything can happen, right? But even though we always knew that anything can happen in football, it still could never have prepared us for this impossible moment from Messi against United back in 2009. I mean, how do I explain to my grandkids that Messi scored a header against the goalkeeper who is a whole foot taller than him? And it's one thing that he pulled that off, but it makes it even crazier that he did that in the biggest club game in club football, the Champions League final. Come on. But mentioning headers just made me remember this absolutely impossible one from Nicholas Bentner in the North London Derby. So, a little background. Bentner was left on the bench for this cracker which was tied at 1-1 to -1 going into the final 12 minutes of the game. Arsene Wenger then decides to bring on his six foot four striker and he goes on to have the quickest impact ever off the bench in Premier League history. Benzinger really came off the bench and scored in just six seconds. What? Bro, that's crazy. He immediately went into the Guinness Book of World Records for that one as a scorer of the fastest goal from a substitute in the history of the Premier League. And bro, did you see how high he jumped for that goal? I mean, it was high, but definitely not as high as in the series jump for the goal which knocked Portugal out of the 2022 World Cup. Come on, how is it even humanly possible for a footballer to jump up to 2.78 meters into the air? That's a little over 9 feet, man. What the hell? But this guy did it, and he did it in a World Cup knockout game too. What makes that moment even colder is that he did it against Ronaldo, who held the previous record for the highest jump for a goal from a footballer. Youssef and Nasir, ladies and gentlemen. But while people are jumping high and scoring with their heads, there's Erling Haaland, who's jumping 
jumping high and still doing impossible things with his leg. Of course, you know we're talking about that game against Dortmund in the Champions League. First of all, that cross to him was absolutely insane. Then, the way this guy jumped and acrobatically scored with his foot, crazy. I mean, his foot was at the same height as the defender's head. Is this even humanly possible to execute? No wonder they call him a robot. That is exactly how a robot would score against his former team. But even though Rooney didn't score this one against his former team, surely we can all still recognize it as one of the craziest ever. This guy really whipped the ball from his own half and it landed in the back of the net? What? First of all, how do you even think of attempting a shot like that from 60 yards out not to even talk of scoring it and to think that this wasn't even prime Rooney? This was finished Rooney playing in the MLS and he still pulled that off? My mind is absolutely blown, man. But let's take another break from actual football games and look at this impossible moment that was pulled off on the training ground. Neymar really controlled the ball thrown from 35 meters. Do you even understand how high that is? That's about 115 feet, bro. His superstar teammates tried, but they couldn't. Why? Because they're just not Neymar, bro. But you know what? Enough of these outfield players. Let's wrap up this video with some impossible moments from goalkeepers. Let's go back to 2015 to see this incredible double save from Ter Stegen. Bro, this guy first got his hand to the ball, but that obviously wasn't enough because it was still heading for the net. But he got it back in time and kept the ball out just before it crossed the goal line completely. What a save, man. What a save. And of course, you know I couldn't possibly talk about impossible moments from goalkeepers without mentioning the OG himself, Rene Iguita. While other goal players save balls with their hands, Iguita decided to use his legs. And it's not just that he used his legs, he used them in the most impossible way. I mean, it would have been much easier to just catch the ball with his hands. But where's the fun in that, huh? So this guy decided to go for the scorpion kick only inches from the goal line. If just one thing went wrong, that would have been one of the most embarrassing moments in football history. Are you surprised why they call him El Loco, the crazy one? What in the world could get crazier than that? Okay, maybe Tim Howard scoring a goal from his own penalty box, not an own goal. This guy put the ball in the opposite goal from his own 18 yard box. How insane is that? We're talking a hundred yards here, bro. How on earth is that even possible? But he's not the only Premier League goalkeeper to have scored a goal. Check this out. Liverpool needed a goal to win the game. If not, they don't qualify for the Champions League next season. Then in the 95th minute, Allison comes up for a corner and he rises up the highest and scores the winning goal with the very last action of the game. Absolutely unbelievable. It's even crazier when you remember that Liverpool then went on to reach the final of the Champions League the next season. Insane. But since we're talking about goalkeeper scoring, we surely could not leave out Masaluke Oscarine. Just like Allison, he came up at the last minute to help his club secure a point. We were all expecting him to just battle for a header and probably miss. But this lad decided to do the impossible. He went for a bicycle kick and scored in the 96th minute of the game. Wow, nobody saw that coming at all. You know what else nobody saw coming? Jan Sommer saving a ball with a finger. Yes, a finger. The ball had almost completely crossed the line, but this lad stopped it with his finger. No, scratch that. With the tip of his finger. Absolutely insane, man. Truly, those who say that anything can happen in the game of football are absolutely right. And this video was real proof. But which of these absolutely impossible moments had your jaw on the ground? Let us know in the comments. And while you're there, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel too. Catch you in the next one. Ciao!